Hey everybody, I'm Lacey. And I'm Caitlin. And this is Women in the Trailer Industry. So today we want to talk about, um, on women in the trailer industries, pressure from our boss. And we didn't say on the last one to find us on Spotify, Apple, wherever you stream your podcast. But are we on Apple yet? We are on Apple. Like, subscribe, follow, comment, leave a review. YouTube. YouTube, yes. We would like to um, really communicate with everyone and yeah. see what everyone's up to, what industry you're in, where you're coming in from. Give us feedback. Yeah, we want to <laughs> talk. We want to chat with you guys. <laughs> Today, we wanted to talk about pressures from our boss, how we handle that, what does that look like for us, and, you know, where we go from there, basically. Yeah. Um, I feel like over the past few years, this has been a harder feat for us because we've moved into this remote um, remote work situation, and we really had to navigate what that looks like for us and how do we please our boss and reach our goals at yeah. the same time. So, you know... I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're still working on it. Let's, <laughs> for lack of better words, we're working on it. <laughs> okay. So uh, recent pressures, you know, are how are we going to meet our sales goals in the in the slow months? What do we do? How do we, um, let's full send it for a second. How do we pull money out of our butt? Yeah. Um, in lighter words. And, and how do we make it happen? Um, for me, I guess I'm more of an optimistic that... I think it will it's happen. Gonna turn, it's yeah. happened um, statistically every month, and if all all the stars align, that it will happen again. But you know that also doesn't pay the bills. Yeah. Um, and for a business owner, our boss um, would be. I, I can see that the struggle is real as far as like what his worry. I mean, I know yeah. that you know any person in a leadership position worries and uh, really strives to have it all working right but for him it's probably more I mean I know it's more um but not to say that we take our jobs lightly we definitely don't we're working all the time um but we do get pressure and sometimes that pressure comes in um ways that we're kind of confused about that we kind of have to like work out and yeah. I think that comes into the remote part about it um it's just sometimes things are we we kind of take it one way because we are feeling this way, but it's not really portrayed that way. Yep. So it's hard. It's hard to navigate. And we all are after the same goal. And that is to make profit, to grow this company, to be, make it successful. Um, and in that, I feel like we give pressure to our teams under us too. So Definitely. we have to be mindful of that, but also yep. stay on that. Yep. And, you know, for them how we ask them to hit their goals as we set incremental goals throughout the month and individual goals and team goals and company goals. And, you know, we monitor that. And I say I'm optimist because I feel like we've hit those so far. We have, yeah. Um, there's a few metrics lagging, but all we can make decisions on really is metrics mm -hmm. uh, that we have given to us. And we're on it. We are daily, as any company should, checking where we are, what are our numbers, what do we have to do to meet this, can we meet it, what do we have to do to, as you say, pull money out of our butts yeah. <laughs> to figure out what, is it more marketing spend, whatever we got to do to get more calls coming in or or ads going out so that more sales can come in, that's what we're doing to hit those numbers to meet those goals and we make it happen, um, but we're, we're still work. every company is a work in progress, but we're still working on getting to that streamlined, um, we ideally in a perfect world, you don't have to put more marketing spin because you're, you're going and blowing and you're turning sales and your sales team is rocking and rolling and, and we're getting there. All right. So Lacey, I know we've been through the ringer over pricing and everything for the past few months, but how have you dealt with the stress of the pressure from the boss man? Um, well, I have hives from head to toe. <laughs> Well, we got into this and I was like, we got to say something about hives. Yes. So, I was, No, I don't think the hives have come from pricing, although I could put it on that and the pressure from my boss, yes. hint, Tyler. But um, no, um, it's, it's tough sometimes. I feel like um, it kind of works its way into, especially high demand um, months and that are, 
that are historically low volume months, uh, there's always going to be more pressure in those months. And February is one of those months for us um, where we know we're going to have number one, there's less days in the month. And that does count when you're talking about sales. Mm -hmm. And number two, it's just um, one of those months. We don't have like a low period, I would say, because we're constantly growing, but we do know months that we're not going to have people like busting down our doors, trying to get our stuff. So um, there's always an added pressure there and it does affect you outside of work. But I'd say like, um, as long as you're portraying that and, and making known that you're working hard and you're getting your job done. Um, and I say this, not just for leaders, but for every employee of a company, um, as long as you know that you're putting in the work that you can put in the hard work, then that pressure can only affect you so far Mm -hmm. if you let it, because you're given all you can give. And, and that's about as much as you can give. And so when the cards line up and lay down on the table, they just fall where they fall at that point. And you just, you, you hope and you pray that you've put in your own work enough that it's all gonna, it's all gonna Mm -hmm. be okay. And it's going to turn around and and be good. Yeah. And for me, you know, when we're like, okay, we have to meet this sales goal and it's, it seems impossible. I'm just, for me, constantly thinking, constantly trying to figure out how we can get there. What can we implement? Can we add this new listing? That's the same listing we already have and just tweaked. Yep, and just add a little something to it. What can we do to make more sales um, and and hit those goals? And um, with Tyler being remote, I I really haven't felt – I feel pressured, but also I feel like we have a good team under us. We do. That's why I feel, like, optimist and um, confident that we're going to hit our goals. Yeah. um, Because we have, like I said, statistically every month. So, um, Also, he's – I mean, we're, we're pretty lucky to have, um, a boss who, yes, he is remote and yes, he is totally invested and involved in the company, but he trusts us and allows us to make decisions that day to daily, we don't have, um, for, I don't know, I would, I would describe it as like a helicopter mom, you know, like dictating and being in the business and trying to make decisions, the daily decisions a way that you can't really see being here. And he's been really good about letting us just find our vibes and make our decisions. And because he knows that all of our goals is the same. Yep. I definitely believe, you know, over the last year or two that we have really pinpointed our direction. And so now it's just getting the team and, and really aligning with them on that Mm -hmm. and, um, and sharing those pressures too, so that they know that, and we know that we're not the only one responsible for that pressure. Yeah. So, also, I'd say um, if you are, if you have a manager or a leadership team that's over you, and you feel like you are having um, pressures put on you that are unjust or that are too much, communication is key, right? So, those leaders need to know if that's the case, so that you can perform better. And I'm not saying go cry about what you've been given. I'm saying in a realistic view, Mm -hmm. if you feel like for your mental health or whatever it may be that your pressure, the pressure is too high, maybe you could do something. Your leader will know, but be, but communicate, right? We're here to communicate and to know, be totally transparent about how you feel. If you can't perform, obviously we need to, to have, to move some, to move things around so that performance can be done. And that's, I mean, it is what it is, you know? Right. And I I think a lot of people think that, you know, they have to absorb all the pressure and, you know, you even had experience with this, but there are people out there who can help and your manager can help you out and assign people to help you out. So, yeah, um, definitely what Lacey said, always just be sure to ask for help and say, uh, you know, I I don't think I can get this done in the time frame that has been stated and it's better for you to say that versus killing yourself trying to get done then it's not done and then but you could have just had simply had somebody help and then it gets done you definitely don't wait till the day before yeah no not a good idea no one can help that sinking ship but um yeah just really navigate through that um communicate Mm -hmm. with your peers um it is your it, it is number one it it's your boss's job to put pressure on his company yes. to, or her company to get stuff done. We all want a successful business, but they definitely want a successful business. So, um, their livelihood is based on it. Um, 
So is ours. Let's just right. say that. I'm not saying that it's not, um, but it's good. Pressure is good. It's healthy um, given. And I feel like more gets done. Yes. With pressure. I yeah. mean, I always feel like we move the needle more with pressure on us than for sure. You know, if we didn't, because then you kind of become complacent and mm-hmm. comfortable. And with, knowing your goal, knowing your goal is, is perfect yeah. or it's, it's necessary for you to put pressure and know what you have to meet, you know, to Absolutely. relieve that pressure, right. I'd say, but. Yeah, thank you guys for being here with us today. Um, we kind of hit on a lot of things. That yep. Pressure. <laughs> yep. And next time, Under catch pressure. us and we'll have a co-host. So we'll yeah, see you later. Sure. And thanks for joining the Women in the Trailer Industry. See you later, guys. Mm-hmm.